So welcome to this channel everyone's South Yorkshire Super Trump's Butter and today I promise you that I will be talking about these wonderful old 30, it's been 30 years now since we had these Super Trams. Um, they are finally getting refurbishment and um, in 20 years or 30 years they're getting refurbishment but they're getting refurbishment which means including interior not with lighting and wooden floor oh my god wooden floor and that so yeah i'm gonna get on with reading on wikipedia and if you want to know this is a guessing game uh, it's part. <coughs> it's part. It, um, where do these super trams come from? Um, what name is it called? Full name. Uh, it belongs to Siemens. And um these beans the actually these in service since nineteen ninety five and present. If you guess incorrectly just let me know in comments below. So I'm gonna read it right now, all about these wonderful Siemens Duac Super Trams now. So Siemens su Duag Supertram <coughs> um, So, the Siemens Duag Supertram is a fleet of 25 trams built by Siemens Duag of Dusseldorf, Germany in 1992 used on the Sheffield Supertram Lightwire Network in England. They were the only trams in use on network un until the entry into service of British Royal Class 99 V99 tram trains in 2017. I will be talking about that um, maybe tomorrow or Tuesday everyone. As of May 2020 or uh, 25 remain operational. I'm going to show you this tram. Um, it's a stagecoach. Um, but they're going to get rid of a logo. They already got rid of it. Um, they're going to take some colours and keep the um red um i'm gonna tell you at the end so, so for picture what you saw is stagecoach super tram 140 but the name will be called south yorkshire super tram and it's going to be a red livery and it's being constructed in 1992 and it's been refurbished from 2006 to 2009 but all 25 trams will be getting fully refurbished for part of super tram funding so that's um, exciting and for car body construction it's steel as you not for body shell it hurts your these knuckle little knuckles but um history now so after undergoing trials on Dusselworth we Baham 
system for trams were delivered to Sheffield via the water dam. Indian Perm cargo ship route. The trams are bi directional and consist of three articulate um, carriages with a low floor area of 40%. All floor, all four entrances are 42 centimeters. 16.5 inch low level matching the height of the platforms to provide level access for fl low floor areas have limited seating for and provide a space for push chairs and wheelchairs for high floor areas are 88 centimeters high um, 34.6 inch high, but since I went on super tram, I seen conductor, I, um, everything fine. I went in, um, this bendy bear and I tried to stand up properly. I soon when trams were going, um, round bends and uh, on junction. They were a junction, that's what I called the triangle. And somehow I nearly fell, got, nearly got squashed between a big thing and a bar railings as well. And conductor said, are you okay mate, are you okay? I went, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, I'm okay, thank you. And you know what, let me describe to you these Conductors and drivers, they are friendly. I always talk to them at tram stop at Castle Square. You no, know, like I talked to one of them about their um, stagecoach and that. I talked to one of them and he said, Yeah. And I said to him, Oh, I know his um, stagecoach load got gone. And he said, Yeah, they all gonna take off and having a new logo but he didn't yeah um someone who i know um he's called Dawa oxley and his uncle i think he works for super tram depot um he knows all information about super trams and he told me all about the trams what's happening like the like, expansion with depot and these new trams, logos, you name it. But he let me know for updating about it. So I'm gonna um continue now for high floor areas are eighty eight centimeters, thirty four point six inch high, and it can be found out to end of each and carriage and in center carriage uh, they are reached by either two three steps but because super trim network includes gradients up to 10 percent all vehicle access axles are powered which limits the low level flow area between both for bogies for maximize the low floor area for mid middle bogies are installed in lane between center carriage section rather under arculations for wheels are type botulin 84 have resilient rubber is uh, um, have a dia diameter diameter of sixty seven centimeters sixty twenty six point four inch they have been worn diameter of at least fifty nine centimeters twenty three inch two inch right uh, there are four mm, Momo motor bogies 
each powered by long delay suspended DC motor drive motor driving both axles powered by salmon supply is seventy fifth day which means seven hundred and fifty VDC overhead lines using black now wells high reach pantograph Speed is controlled by the cab by a joystick, not um, uh, not power steering. Um, controller with dead man stick, uh, which from automatically apply to no other vintage controlled is fair because. Of persuades safety of system for street running trams. Drivers are seated on sprung seats, not hard, not like steady, but sprung like for comfort and public address. Allow system allows them to communicate with passengers. So, vehicle interior is designed to meet safety requirements for interior fittings, have no sharp edges, no prevent any injury, and there are numerous grab railings for standing passengers. Interior lining of ceiling consists aluminium honeycomb bonded. So, Mel melamine coated resin for lining attached suspension points welded to fur roof sections. The inside walls are made from coloured melamine material, complete lining with for architectural lines consist of coloured fiber glass rear wall. Of the driving camper is made of laminated wood with minimum vena. But what I was trying to say for wood on the flooring as well, that's need to be replaced in view uh, for part of refurbishment. Passengers have 86 up holistic seats. And mostly arranged face to face, a low floor area post minimum seating to provide space for wheelchairs in accordance and requirements of DP TAC studio studies were carried out for grand field industry of the technology. To ensure to all members of public may have access to drivers. So from September 2005, Trams and Manuel destination boards were changed to multicolor OED signs, conforming with Disability Discrimination Act 1995 DDA. Well, why was pre-recorded next stop announcements were introduced to replace announcements made by drivers. Three voices with local access were chosen to record it for destination messengers on three different drum lines. Like say, I'm going to do this for example. The next this tram is for Medahar. Next stop by way crest will be Medahar interchange, and that's what it looks like. And if it's tram train, this tram train service will be stopping at Parkgate Wolverham, calling at Cathedral. Castle Gate, Fitz Island Square, Hyde Park, Critiquing World, Nunnery Square, Park and Ride, 
at Cliff, not at Cliff, but Bond Road at Cliff, Olympic Legacy Park, um, IKEA, Meadow Hawes, uh, South Tinsley, uh, then Wolverham, this is a new stop, Magna, um, Park, uh, Park and Ride. Wuthering Central and finally Wuthering Parkgate. So that's for my that's for examples. So all trams were refurbished by January two thousand and six and February two thousand nine. <clears throat> With first refurbished tram being launched at Super Trams Nunnery Depot and. 27th of January 26, 2006. With for trams conform to Disability Discrimination Act inside Wires repainting trams into a new stagecoach corporation finished in blue, lovely, similar to Southwest tra trains. Um, in May 2009, a second part of a fresh program began, which was overhaul of trams on the floor, running equipment in lasted until end of 2012, and meant that one tram once again permanently unable for service and system, therefore continued to operate with 23 trams out of available for service fleet of 25. So, um, <coughs> that's all about the history of Siemens tram, Siemens Duet Super Trams. So, I'm going to talk about liveries now, everyone. So, for internal tram livery, was an overall light grey with dark blue skirt. It's still running. Uh, and Super Trump fleet names. Uh, a minor modification appeared just prior to the stagecoach group with Brandy when current motor was added to centre car in large letters under the windows. Following the stagecoach awarded operating franchise in 1997, the trams were branded incorporated stagecoach and identified a wide base with three stripes um, with a stagecoach fleet name for suit First super tram strap line um, in line with the UK bus fleet. Later, bus fleets were given a new livery. A dark blue base was added up on orange, red, and blue stripes. So, this is the first picture. Cream and blue, dark blue. Uh, that blue bell and snowdrop livery, that's what it's called. Between January 2006 and January 2009, entire fleet refurbished internally. A part of refresh program panel tram livery was rebranded current scheme. And bread dominated blue livery and more prominent logo with a smaller sub ordinary stagecoach identifying. This loses based on blue version of a Southwest Trains Corporated stagecoach livery before and after images of uh, refreshing available on operators website so 
In addition to standard liveries, a number of over advertising schemes have been used in digital trams for places such as Middle Horse Centre, Jobs Website, Sister Stagecoach Company, East Coast Trains, and New Sheffield IKEA Store, Doncaster Sheffield Airport, XO Cleaning Logics. Fashion website, a pretty thing, little thing. Since 2010, and Tram 120 was featured non standard livery to mark 50th anniversary of closure of former Tram Network to celebrate influence of. Um, Trams for city for design features that similar blue cream color as a used to original tramway for city coated of arms and removal external um, advertisements. 120 has recently been reprinted and no longer carries for delivery. So I'm going to show you these liveries now, everyone. So for top one, I don't know if you can see it. That's um original Trump's livery, two of them. And that's a stagecoach one as well. But I'm gonna get um, proper pictures to show you guys. Alright, so that's all about um, Simmons Duag, everyone. And um, maybe tomorrow and uh, or Tuesday, we'll be talking about British class 399 drum trains. So I would like to say. Thank you for watching this a brilliant video and um like I said before I'm gonna get them pictures and show you them liveries alright then uh, uh, thumbs up uh, for uh, commenting below S please subscribe to this channel and my other channel please thank you and I'll see you guys tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Tuesday, I've got Job Centre on tomorrow. So I'm going to see you on Tuesday then.